and ready. I'm going to do my presentation on Dave Thomas's Foundation for Adoption. The main goal of Dave Thomas's Foundation for Adoption is to find loving families for every foster child. Dave Thomas was actually a foster child and adopted, so when he came into his wealth from Wendy's, um, he decided to do this with his money. There's only one uh, national nonprofit public charity dedicated to this, and that is the Dave Thomas Foundation. They deliver funds to adoption agencies that hire specifically trained adoption recruiters to find permanent loving families for the foster children uh, that they're working with. The foundation also raises awareness about foster children and the process to adopt. Right now in the United States, there's 443,000 children in foster care and more than 123,000 of those children are available for adoption. A lot of children go into foster care, but they're not available to adopt yet. Um, their families are trying to get them back, but there's over 100,000 that are looking for new families. There are several types of adoption. The one focused on by the Dave Thomas Foundation is the foster care system, um, but you can also um, adopt an infant in the United States, which is called a private infant adoption, or you could adopt a child from another country, which is usually called an international adoption, or you can be adopted by a family member or a step parent. Cost of adoption, the child from the U.S. foster care system can be adopted from either no money to $2,500. There's a lot of subsidies that are available to families who adopt from foster care. Um, there's several employers that actually have a lot of benefits that you can have um, through adoption, kind of similar to a maternity benefit. They have adoption benefits. Not all companies do, but several do. And sometimes you can help relieve those funds with um, tax credits. A private or international adoption can cost anywhere from $7,000 to $40,000. So Dave Thomas Foundation has uh, four signature programs that they uh, work with to try to advance their program. The Wendy's Wonderful Kids, Adoption Friendly Workplace, National Adoption Day, and a home for the holidays. Wendy's Wonderful Kids uh, provides grants to adoption agencies so they can hire those specially trained recruiters. Um, they focus on a certain child-focused recruitment model that was developed by the Dave Thomas Foundation um, to help these children waiting on foster care. They have reduced caseloads so that they can actually give all their time and resources to the few children in their list and help ensure that they find a family for them. By the time these children usually get to a recruiter, most of them, 90%, are older than the age of eight. 33% have had six or more foster placements, and 52% have been in for foster care for more than four years. The Adoption Friendly Workplace was created by the Dave Thomas Foundation. It's an initiative to advocate for approved adoption benefits. When you come home from the hospital and you have maternity leave, that's for you to be able to recover and bond with your child. Most all employers give you that, but not very many will give you time to have that same bonding experience with a new adopted child. Uh, and every year they put out a list of the 100 best adoption friendly workplaces. And this is the list. You can kind of see Alliance data, uh, analog devices, Blackboard, Bloomberg. There's a lot of different companies that actually give you leave um, for adoption. Then you have National Adoption Day. Uh, the foundation partnered with the Alliance for Children's Rights and the Freddie Mac Foundation um, back in 2000 to um, encourage, they started with seven cities to open their courts on a Saturday before Thanksgiving to finalize and celebrate these adoptions because a lot of times they don't become finalized due to just lack of hand on the uh, courthouse end. Uh, they just take a long time. So they created November 18th to be National Adoption Day. The idea 
was inspired by uh, former juvenile court justice Michael Nash. He would open the courthouses uh, in Los Angeles on Saturdays to try to do the same thing there, so that's where they got the idea. Now they are up to more than 400 cities, and they've included the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute and the Action for Children, and it's just kind of escalated nationwide. So far they've aided in nearly 70,000 children being able to go from foster care to a permanent family. Uh, the last program that they have is the Home for the Holidays. It's a televised um, fundraiser on CBS. It's been going on since 1999. Uh, they share different adoption stories and some of the top artists in America will be on there performing. It's going to be hosted by Josh Groban this year, performances by Mariah Carey and big names like that so that they can try to have some fundraising for that foundation. There's lots of ways that um, we can all give to the Dave Thomas Foundation. They always accept cash donations. Uh, there's even an option where you could be on a monthly basis with them. Uh, there's a fundraising. You can create your own fundraiser on their website and share it on your Facebook or your Twitter and um, people can donate that way. You can donate stocks. You can donate through retirement plans. Um, you can throw special events like golf or bowling tournaments with the proceeds going to the foundation. Um, you could also just go to the website and buy a sweatshirt or a hat. They have several different things with merchandise on the website. Or um, you can just go to Wendy's. Right now, Wendy's has the Frosty Key Tags that you can buy and all the proceeds go to the Adoption Foundation. And that's where I got all of my resources and that's my resolution.